It's your boy Ezra KJ300. Y'all know I'm coming. Y'all know the last few videos I've done on the Mavericks or Luka, I've been saying, if Chris Southport Zingas can get it together to where he can be about at least 80 to 85% of what he was with the Knicks, the Mavericks are going to make a push in the playoffs. I think they can win a series in the playoffs because they are that good. If Chris Southport Zingas can add on to what Luka is doing, they lost the white power. Um, they traded for Willie Collins 9, which was a very good trade because the white power was their energizer. He'll get rebounds, lots, stuff like that. And Willie Collins 9 can do those same exact things. I think they got a pretty good team around them, a solid bench uh, with Seth Curry, Justin Jackson, and Brunson. Um, I just really think Chris Alpozingas, if he can do it, he's been, this right here. Because you remember the last time Luka got hurt, Chris Alpozingas killed the Bucks. He went off against the Bucks. So they're going to have to find a way to get. Chris Alpozingas and Luka involved while they're both on the floor to score points. And it's going to be deadly in the playoffs. So, um, you know, I was saying that he could just be 85% of what he was with the Knicks. And I know it's going to take time because he basically took almost two years off. Um, and his shots like this shot right here. He was, if you've been watching the Mavericks, when he's on the floor and shooting that shot, he is shooting it so flat. Like, it's hitting the front of the rim every time he's shooting. And you know, Chris Alpozinga is known for shooting that three. Very deep. He's known for getting his first shot be right here on the block or something like that. And he's shooting on threes. So, if he can get that going, they are going to be dangerous, like I've been saying. Like, he can keep making that. Y'all know I've been doing videos on Chris Alpozinga since he was with the Knicks. He used to make that shot nine times out of ten. As a facilitator. See, you see this shit, they ain't even going right there. They went, the, other, uh, the defender wouldn't go down there and double team the dude that's coming off the screen. They wouldn't do that. They would guard Chris Alpozingas out there. And if they can do that with Luka, he not get double team with the pick and roll, pick and fade with Chris Alpozingas, they're going to be unstoppable. They just got to keep doing this. Steadily improving each year, Savonis. That's the Chris Alpozingas we know. That's the exact one we know. That right there. And then the runner by Hardaway. No good. Put back in by Porzingis. Body of Porzingis that time. But once again, use his body well. Look at him. That's that. I mean, y'all know what I'm talking about. Y'all know exactly what I'm That is the Chris Alpozingas we saw last. I mean, year before last. There he is. Inside and one, score, and one. Foul. When Luka come back, he got to be the right same exact well, risk. They have to get both of them involved the on the court together because them two, it's going to be nasty. It's going to be nasty. So, um, y'all let me know what y'all think. But, like I said, if Chris Alpozingas can play like that, make a wide open threes, pick and fade with Luka, they are going to be unstoppable, I'm telling you. Because Porzingis, you leave him open like that, a couple years ago, he was making them every time. And now you come out with picking a fade with them, so you can't double team Luca. And if you do, you just got to take the three from Chris Alpozingas. So we'll see how it works. But when Luca come back, they got to get them both involved. Y'all let me know what y'all think. It's your boy Elza KJ300. Y'all know I'm coming. Make sure you like, share, subscribe. Let's get these digits.